This is very important. Do not give scuba air to freedivers, and freedivers do not accept air from scuba divers unless this is really a case of really, really deep emergency. The same moment you receive air from a scuba diver, you turn into a scuba diver and you must apply to the same rules when you're going back to the surface, which means you must stay with the scuba diver, you must make a safety stop, you must be sure that the scuba diver understands this and can follow you back to the surface. So here, say no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Because the extra air you will have, you will receive as a free diver, is compressed air that will fill out your lungs, like in this example where it's 20 meters, it's three times the capacity of your lungs. And which means if you don't exhale on the way up, your lungs will explode. And also there will be wrong pressures all over your body with all this air floating around under high pressure. So if you really need to receive air from a scuba diver in depth, you will become a scuba diver and must follow these rules. And it's only a matter of seconds. Now you see it in real time, real speed. Do not accept scuba air if you are a free diver, really, unless it's a really dark, deep emergency. Then of course you can do it, but then you must follow the scuba diving rules.